All right, guys, how's it going? Me and Remy were sat over there when we did our morning briefing. We were in the shade, but the sun's come out now, but only on this side, so we swapped seats. And we're having our second quaffy of the morning. You all right? Yeah. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is it necessary to drink that when you're talking to me? I ain't got much time. Get on with it, chubs. Tough. I'm not letting my coffee go cold, all right? Might have another sip. No, I'm only joking. Um, how are you doing? All right, so in a couple of videos uh, and a couple of the last streams that I've done, uh, I pointed out that Sporting, managed by Ruben Amarim, uh, have two huge games this week. Uh, but you might not have seen me reference that, you know, mention that. So I'm recording this video just to tip you off about them. The first being this evening. And they are, both games are against Benfica. One's in the cup this evening, one's on Saturday. The one on Saturday is massive. Don't get me wrong, the one tonight's a big deal, right? Uh, it's the semi-final this evening. Uh, Taca de Portugal, this cup is called. Uh, and it's the second leg. And Sporting go into this game against Benfica with a 2-1 advantage. Uh, and it is at Benfica. Uh, now, this game kicks off at 8.45pm UK um, now it says here Benfica are still in contention for a treble this season uh, they are just one point behind Sporting in the league although they have played a game more and are also in the quarter final of the Europa League where they will face Marseille plus the chance to reach the Taca de Portugal final the Eagles have played Sporting twice this season once in the league and once in this competition both sides have won one match each both by a 2-1 scoreline for the side at home on both occasions. If this trend continues on Tuesday, the match will go into extra time and possibly penalties. However, both teams will be hoping to avoid this as they face each other again in the league just four days after the semi-final. Uh, Ruben Amarim's team are already out of the Europa League after losing 3-2 on aggregate to Atalanta in the round of 16. This leaves them with only the Primera League and Taca de Portugal titles to fight for. Benfica currently stand in their way for both trophies, but Sporting hold a slight advantage in both situations and could potentially reach the final and extend their league uh, lead this week. Okay, so uh, Benfica have no injury or suspensions to worry about heading into this clash. Um, Sporting Lisbon remain without midfielder Goncalves, who has been sidelined since coming off injured midway through the Europa League game against Atalanta on March 14th. Uh, he's joined on the injury table by Spanish goalkeeper Antonio Adan, who has missed each of the last seven matches through a thigh problem. Uh, Gallo Queres, is that how you pronounce his name? You know, you know what I'm like. He's having an unforgettable season, having scored 36 times in 40 appearances across all competitions, and he should lead the line once again. Now, uh, this prediction, which is by uh, Sports Mole, um, have gone for a 1 1 draw. Uh, they say we expect this match to be a very tight affair as both sides have several quality players that should cancel each other out. There is a feeling that both sides will be cautious and smart with their approach. Given that they will face off in the league once again on Saturday, we are calling a draw, but both sides should find a net in this one. Now, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bet on this game to have an interest in it. Uh, I'm gonna try and watch it, but it's 9:45 for me in the evening, which is quite late to be honest with you. Um, but I'm gonna go for plus 2.5 goals, just a couple of quid, you know, which basically means that there has to be more than two goals in the game for my bet to win by any side. I like doing plus 2.5 goals on games when I have, you know, um, no specific interest in the game. Obviously, I want. Uh, sporting to win at the moment, or I'm not actually don't know if that helps us or not. But um, when I'm a neutral, I like to do plus two point five because it means you've got both teams attacking for you. So when one attacks and loses possession, they're going the other direction. You want either team to score, right? When it, when you do under two point five, which means less than three goals, uh, you're a nervous wreck. Do you know what I mean? So I always go for plus two point five, and that's what I'll be doing on this game this evening. Uh, so yeah, it kicks off at eight forty-five in the UK. Now apparently, it's on um, in the UK and Spain where I am. It says you can watch it on RTP 
I. Now I looked this up um, earlier and I'm not really sure if you can access in this, this in the UK on say a, a Skybox or something, I would think not, I don't know. But if your friend has got one of them dodgy IPTV boxes or dongles, you should be able to watch it because it's a free to air television channel. Not that that matters if you've got a dodgy box. But I'm just letting you know, if you've got a, a section on your, you know, your, your box, your menu where you can look at Portuguese channels or whatever, look for RTP International, okay, International, International, all right? Um, and uh, maybe you'll be able to um, uh, catch up with that. Oh, I just saw, how can I watch RTPI? Let's have a look. How do I get... Uh, all right, okay, this is saying that online, if you've got a VPN, select a server in Portugal, and there is an RTP Play app or website, login, sign up, etc. I'm not sure you want to go to all that ball ache. Um, if, but if you haven't got IPTV, maybe it's an option for you. Now, I don't know if it's really that, you know, if it's going to interest you that much. Me, it is. I want to see, you know, this is, these are your rivals. You know, this is like... Liverpool versus Manchester City sort of thing, you know, top of the table kind of thing, uh, even though this is a cup game. And I want to see how the manager, you know, deals with that, how he plays, uh, you know, the sporting. If they go a goal down, I want to see how he responds to that. These are all important things that some of us might want to uh, know. Also, it depends on time, do you know what I mean? Some of you might not have time for it, you might be at work and that, or you might have a nagging fucking wife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or a nagging husband. Maybe the girls get nagged at as well. Oh God. Can you imagine a bloke nagging? Yeah. Now I'm gonna side with the fellas here. I think it's the women that nag. You can't say that, I can say what the fuck I want. Um so that's tonight's game, and I will do another video like this when we get to Saturday because that is obviously the league game. Top of the table, fucking clash that one, guys, on Saturday. One point difference. Uh, and um, Sporting have a game uh, advantage, a game in hand. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a, a video of what I think about the managerial situation in a moment, rather than waffle on in this for too much longer. So, um, just wanted to tip you off. That game is tonight. Look out for it. Uh, you know, press conferences after the game, for example. What's, you know, if he loses, you know, oh, is Liverpool a distraction? If he wins... You know, is this going to be your legacy before you maybe move on to another club? Those kind of things. So expect some hammering quotes this evening, you know, or overnight. Do you know what I mean, guys? Right, if you appreciate the video, doesn't mean you agree with me or support whatever's in it. Please thumbs up, right? Look, I'm down with the kids, man. Thumbs up my video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I get thousands of views and probably about 30 thumbs up, you know what I mean? People just can't be arsed, you know. Why can't you be arsed, you lazy fuckers? Sort it out. Um, leave me a comment. Yeah, I, I know who's on my side because I see the comments. I read every single comment. Uh, every single comment. I love it. Um, look, I'll prove it to you right now. Look, straight to the front of my phone. Right, Mickey. He says it won't be Nagelsmann. The Euros finish the 14th of July. FSG will want someone in place before then, in my opinion. Amarin is heavily involved with sport until the end of the season. Last game on 19th of May. Can't see any news about him till then. I would agree with that. We will have to wait. 34 Moses. Morning, Dunk. Do you think possibly there could be movement after Saturday as his season could be more or less decided? No. I will go back to Mickey's comment. I think we wait until they will wait until the league is out of the way. Uh, and Dean, in the comments, uh, the morning briefing today, he asked me why I shouted Mo Salah when, we, when I mentioned Fabrizio Romano. And I, uh, I answered in the morning briefing this morning, and he said, good morning, mate, and thanks for answering my question. Seen some lovely people. Uh, Jay Smith. Morning, Dunk. Got my tea and a chalky digestive, watching the only trusted news I follow. Sun is out on the south coast. See, lovely people. I always read every single comment, so please do that. And if you want to buy me a coffee, yeah, or a beer, hit that super thanks button, and don't be a tight ass. And read the video description and join my newsletter. Nobody's joining my newsletter because I checked the statistics yesterday. And do you know what I might do? I might start sending some videos just to the newsletter. Yeah. So, be there or be square. See you in a bit, guys. Have a good day. Me and Remy are going to get another cuppa. All right.